everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. If you are new here, my name is Shauna Narain and I post new videos every Monday and Thursday evenings. So in today's look, I wanted to show you my makeup, no makeup look, really, really minimal makeup for on the go if you're like super lazy and just want to do like a couple of products, then I will show you how to do that in this video. So please keep watching. Okay, so first things first when it comes to the makeup, no makeup look is prepping your face. I feel like skin prep is really important to get that makeup, no makeup look um, instead of using like primer and all. So first I'm going to go in with the 24 Gold Peptide Infusion Illuminating Facial Serum. And I like facial serums because it gives you like that dewy look. So I'm just taking one pump like that, putting them around my face, I'm just kind of patting it all in. Bring it down my neck, always remember your neck. So next I'm going in with Moisturizer. This is the Olay Complete Normal and this also has um, SPF 15 in it. So I'm just going to dot this on my face. But I'm also going to be going in regular uh, SPF as well. Bring that down my neck as well. So after the Moisturizer, again, I like to go in with the SPF just because of cream cream. This is... This is SPF 30, so the Olay cream has 15, this has 30, so right now we're at 45. <laughs> I always put SPF on every morning, just gotta protect the skin, so I just do some pumps like this, put it all over, and then always on my neck too. I make sure I get like by my eyes, I don't want like crow seat right there. I always kind of bring it up. I always make sure I get in my hairline too, like right here, because I always tend to like burn there and peel really bad in my nose. And I'm just going to get a little more, put it down my chest and my neck. Whatever's left over, I always like to put on my hands, my arms, just because your neck and your hands show your age the quickest. Next, I'm going to go in with some vitamin C spray. I usually use um, a pump, like a serum pump for vitamin C, but it's running low, so I decided to use uh, the Tower Skincare Vitamin C I got from TJ Maxx. They have really good skincare products. I'm just spray this all over my face. Just let that dry for a second. And then I also like to go in with the Mario Badusco skincare, the facial spray with um, aloe herbs and rose water. I really like this. You can also actually put this in your hair, it says. I've never um, used it but for my hair, um, but I have used it every day now. I just like the smell of it and I feel like it's really like rejuvenating and it really hydrates your skin. Okay, so now that our skin is prepped and you look like a little dewy, which I like, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm not gonna use foundation for this look because I want it to look extremely natural, literally, like you almost have absolutely no makeup on. This is just like to kind of wake your face up a little bit. So to conceal under my eyes, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Fair Warm. I'm just going, not even a lot, just like a tiny, tiny bit. Usually with concealer, if you, obviously if you're doing like a full glam look, boom, boom, I do like a big triangle, but I don't want it again to look like I have makeup on, so I'm doing literally a dot like that. And right now I don't have any breakouts, thank God. So I'm just putting it right there. First I'm going in with my ring finger and just patting it in just so it's even more natural. I usually go in the inner corner of my eye and just right underneath. I'm trying not to drag it all the way out. Again, I want it to look natural and this is usually where my dark circles show throughout the day. Put it on top of my eye as well. I'll drag it down, whatever's left. I have a little red right there. Sometimes all I will go with my beauty blender, you can see is like a little white right there. So I'll just kind of blend it out just a little more. So really seamlessly blends together. Okay, so that's on. It helps just, again, with that dark circles. Again, I don't want it to look like I have any makeup on whatsoever. I'm just going to set that with, normally it's a loose powder, but I'm using like um, a press powder for this because, again, we don't want it to look like we have makeup, so I'm just taking a brush like this, a very little amount, and just putting that right there and down. Not a lot at all, just want it to be set. So next for the face, I want to look a little bronze just because I am getting like somewhat of a tan this summer. Um, 
but I always put sunblock on so sometimes my face is a little paler so I'm going to brighten it up a little bit I'm just going to take this Milani conceal and perfect concealer obviously it's a lot darker this is 175 warm chestnut and then I'm just going to be taking a dense brush like this and putting that on my cheeks but I'm gonna be putting it on my hand and then on my face normally I would just put this on my face I don't want it to look too harsh and like we have makeup on the whole point is to make it look like you don't have makeup so I'm just going to dot this on my hand a little amount just like that take my dance brush put it around my hand and just go like so just so you have a little bit of definition again I don't want it to look like we have makeup on I just want to make my face a little extra color whatever's left I'm just putting on uh, down the bridge of my nose for a little contour but you could see how this just kind of warms up your face without it looking like too harsh then I'm taking my beauty blender and just pushing that into my skin even more okay so again I just blended in with the beauty blender and you could see there's no really like harsh lines just to give my cheeks a little definition and not look too harsh again it really looks like we have absolutely no makeup on right now which is what we want so for blush i'm going in with the elf blush uh, it's cream blush in the color soft peach and same thing i'm just taking my brush putting it in like this just going very lightly so we have a little bit of color on our cheeks i just want to look like flushed and natural You're gonna just put it on my forehead a little where you naturally would get like sunburn down the bridge of my nose. Just like so. And then we're just going to take the beauty blender and blend that out. So again, you're probably thinking there's nothing on her face, but trust me, there is. Uh, so normally for a really no makeup natural look, I wouldn't go in with like a highlighter just because I feel like that kind of gives it away that you're wearing makeup. But since it is summer and I really kind of had like that dewy glow in a way, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of highlight. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick in 200 medium. Just rubbing that with my ring finger. Just going very lightly right on like my cheekbone right here. Just to give it somewhat of a glow. Glow never hurt anybody. And just right here in the circle of my nose, the tip of my nose. Take my beauty blender, just blend that out so it blends. And that's it. So next I would do eyebrows. Again, I don't want it to look like I really filled them in, but my eyebrows are super light. I just dyed them the other day, but clearly they're like off now. Um, so I just do want to touch that up a little bit. So I'm going to be using by IZME New York Enhancing Brow Pomade. There's no color or anything, but it's kind of like, um, oh wait, it is. Gingerbread is the color. It's kind of like a tacky, creamy type of eyebrow. I'm just taking a small dense brush like this, brushing it up, and just filling, filling in wherever I have like gaps. Then I brush it up just to blend it all together and then basically done you can see it's just a little bit more defined than this one but not like I would normally do with my sharp pencil and make it look like you did a full eyebrow I think that looks weird when you do like full eyebrows and have like no makeup on it looks a little too harsh so I like to do this instead so I'm just going to be going with the other side same exact thing okay so last step Putting mascara on is totally optional for a no makeup makeup look. I don't care if people will see that I have like mascara on, but for this look, I'm not going to be putting any on just because I want it to look super natural and just like you look really awake. Plus it cuts out the time because sometimes mascara can take a while. But what I am going to do is curl my lashes just so they have some type of like definition. So I'm just gonna curl them, just curling iron I got. And you could get this at any drugstore. So you can see the difference already when you curl your eyelash, not curl your eyelash. You just Sometimes I even take this with me throughout the day and just kind of like push it together just so I have some definition and it looks like I have some eyelashes going on. But if you want to put mascara on, 
go right ahead but i'm not really doing too much today so i'm not going to okay so last step is totally optional i'm going in with that blush and kind of using it as a lip too just so it matches my face really well it's going in it's kind of like a peach tone but kind of a little lighter than my lip but just gives it like some sort of color and i like it because it matches your cheeks and that does it for this makeup no makeup look again this is very minimal makeup this is for like everyday running to the store if you literally have five minutes obviously it took me a little longer because i'm talking but this is what i would do if i'm like running to the store and don't want to really put a lot of effort on but don't want to look like a zombie either so hope you guys liked it if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a post and i will see you in my next video